In this lesson, we will learn about perfect squares, perfect cubes, and their roots. In part A, we are asked, what is a perfect square? Also, we will write the first three perfect squares. A perfect square is a number that can be expressed as a product of two equal factors. For example, 8 squared equals 8 times 8. We can visualize perfect squares using geometric squares. Draw a square with a side length of one unit. The area of a square is given by the formula area equals side length squared. Plug in one for the side length. This gives one squared, which is one. So, when the side length of a square is one unit, the area is one unit squared. Now draw a square with a side length of two units. The area of a square is a equals s squared. Plug in two for the side length. This gives us two squared, which is four. So, when the side length of a square is 2 units, the area is 4 units squared. Now draw a square with a side length of 3 units. The area of a square is a equals s squared. Plug in 3 for the side length. This gives us 3 squared, which is 9. So, when the side length of a square is 3 units, the area is 9 units squared. Moving on to part B, we are asked what is a perfect cube. Also, we'll write the first three perfect cubes. A perfect cube is a number that can be expressed as a product of three equal factors. For example, 8 cubed equals 8 times 8 times 8. We can visualize a perfect cube using geometric cubes. What you see here are isometric dots. They make it easy to draw 3D objects. Draw a cube with an edge length of one unit. The volume of a cube is v equals side length cubed. Plug in 1 for the side length. This gives us 1 cubed, which is 1. So when the edge length of a cube is 1 unit, its volume is 1 unit cubed. Now draw a cube with an edge length of 2 units. The volume of a cube is v equals side length cubed. Plug in 2 for the edge length. This gives us 2 cubed equals 8. So when the edge length of a cube is 2 units, its volume is 8 units cubed. Now draw a cube with an edge length of 3 units. The volume of a cube is v equals side length cubed. Plug in 3 for the edge length. This gives us 3 cubed equals 27. So when the edge length of a cube is 3 units, its volume is 27 units cubed.
In part C, we'll list the first 10 perfect squares and perfect cubes. The first three have been provided for us. Four squared is 16 and four cubed is 64. Five squared is 25 and five cubed is 125. Six squared is 36 and six cubed is 216. Seven squared is 49 and seven cubed is 343. Eight squared is 64 and eight cubed is 512. 9 squared is 81, and 9 cubed is 729. 10 squared is 100, and 10 cubed is 1000. 1, In part D, we are asked to define a square root. Also, we'll find the square root of 36. A square root is one of two equal factors of a number. For example, since 3 times 3 equals 9, 3 is a square root of 9. We can visualize a square root using a geometric square. Draw a square with an area of 36 square units. The side length of the square, which is 6 units, is the square root. Alternatively, we can use the formula a equals s squared. Square root both sides to isolate the side length. When we take the square root of something squared, the square root and the exponent cancel out, leaving just the number underneath. This gives us side length equals the square root of area. Plug in 36 for the area. The square root of 36 is 6 units. So when we have an area of 36 square units, we have a side length of 6 units. In Part E, we are asked to define a cube root. Also, we'll find the cube root of 125. A cube root is one of three equal factors of a number. For example, since 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27, 3 is the cube root of 27. We can visualize a cube root using a geometric cube. Draw a cube that contains 125 unit cubes. The edge length of the cube is 5 units, so the cube root of 125 is 5. Alternatively, we could use the formula v equals s cubed. Take the cube root of each side to isolate the edge length. When we take the cube root of something cubed, the cube root and the exponent cancel out, leaving just the number underneath. This gives us edge length equals the cube root of volume. Plug in 125 for volume. This gives us an edge length of 5. So if the volume of the cube is 125 units cubed, the edge length is 5 units. 